Now the World Trade Organization's incoming chief has warned against vaccine nationalism that would slow progress in ending the COVID-19 pandemic and could erode economic growth for all countries, rich and poor. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala said her top priority was to ensure that WTO does more to address the pandemic, saying members should accelerate efforts to lift export restrictions, slowing trade and needed medicines and supplies. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is the first woman and the first African appointed to lead the World Trade Organization. And in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, that's cause to celebrate. For people here, like branch developer Ibe Joy, the country's former finance minister is an inspiration. Her achievements as a lady has actually made we young ladies to actually have the drive to do more. If she can, be, if she can do it, we all can do it. Three months after being rejected by the administration of former U.S. President Donald Trump, an endorsement by his successor, Joe Biden saw Okonjo Iweala get unanimous approval for the job. That position is long overdue. When you take cognizance of what uh, Okonjo Iweala has put in, in this nation. The 25-year veteran of the World Bank returned to Nigeria in 2003 to serve as finance minister. Her backers point to her hard-nosed negotiating skills which helped cancel billions of dollars of Nigerian debt in 2005. Plus to Africa, and it's a big plus to Nigeria. Admissions facilitator Oladi Borotimi believes her appointment will be a boost for a country that suffered two recessions in the past five years. And it gives us a voice. But Okonjo Iweala does have her work cut out. She will need to broker international trade talks in the face of persistent U.S.-China conflict respond to pressure to reform trade rules and counter heightened protectionism. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.